Hey everyone, I'm Jeanette Birnbach. Welcome back for lesson two of our crash course in real estate syndication. I'm really happy you're here. In this lesson, we'll talk about types of investors and opportunities. In the first lesson, we looked at syndication in general, and we said that syndication is the pooling of funds from a group of investors in order to purchase a property that none of them could afford on their own. So syndication is a way for you to get into real estate without actually having to be a landlord or basically get a second job by managing your own properties. There are two types of investors. Those are accredited and sophisticated. Let's look at both of those definitions because they determine the types of offerings that you can be presented with. An accredited investor, according to the Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, is someone who has an income of at least $200,000 each year for the last two years, and they have an expectation to continue having that income. Or if they're married, they have a combined income of at least $300,000 per year for the last two years with the expectation that that will continue. Or they have a net worth of at least $1 million, excluding the value of their primary residence. Now, the SEC um, with Rule 506C requires that the onus of proving that investors have accredited investor status falls on the syndicators. So we can't simply rely on the investor's word that they are accredited, and instead we have to have a reasonable um, step or steps to verify that. And there are two really easy ways to do that. One is through a third party like verifyinvestor.com on their website for about a $60 fee and some access to your banking information, they will confirm your accredited status, or you can get a letter from your CPA attesting that you meet that criteria. So those are two really easy, quick ways to do it. The second type of investor is a sophisticated investor. So this designation allows the SEC to protect who can put their, to protect people who are putting their money into real estate syndication deals. While anyone who's got money can buy stocks or bonds, the SEC actually restricts participation in real estate ventures. Now, the SEC has got a little um, less clear definition of sophisticated investor, but basically it's that the individual must have sufficient knowledge and experience in financial and business matters to make them capable of evaluating the merits and risks of the prospective investment. And this is to keep them from getting in over their head or making a decision that they weren't um, knowledgeable or informed enough to make. Investors are considered sophisticated if they possess sufficient funds, net worth, and financial sector experience to participate in more advanced investment deals. So this means that Sophisticated investors have previous experience investing outside the stock market and or education and alternative investments. Now, it's important that non-accredited investors have a previous relationship with the sponsor before investing in a real estate deal. So what this means, for example, is that if you register with us at Blue Ring Investors, we'll get to know you via an investor questionnaire and a live call, like a strategy call, so we can get to know what your goals are as well as potential trainings like this one before we present you with a live deal. Let's look at types of offerings. There are two main categories of these, 506B and C, and the status you have as an investor determines which ones of these you would have access to. Now, one of the biggest differences between 506B and 506C structures and offerings is how syndicators are allowed to present their opportunities. Advertising, for instance, is strictly prohibited with 506B offerings, but if the syndicator has an existing relationship with the investor, they're allowed to approach, allowed to approach the investor about the offering. On the other hand, the 506Cs, those can be advertised. They can go out on Facebook and different ways. No investor relationships required there. Only accredited investors are allowed to purchase the 506C type offering. 506B offerings can include up to 35 unaccredited or sophisticated investors as long as they fulfill that sophistication requirement. With 506B offerings, companies will certify that an investor is sophisticated using a questionnaire. With 506C offerings, we have to have a much stricter accreditation requirements and you saw that on a previous slide. But the bottom line is, that whether you're an accredited or sophisticated investor, you can take advantage of the opportunity to invest in multifamily syndication. 
Accredited investors are eligible for 506B and 506C offerings, and they don't necessarily need to have a previous relationship with the operator. Non-accredited or sophisticated investors are eligible for 506B offerings, and they must establish a relationship with the sponsor prior to investing in a deal. So there you have it, the difference between accredited and sophisticated investors and 506B and 506C offerings. And in the next lesson, we'll start to move into some of the more exciting stuff. We'll be looking at how investors get paid. So please join me there. We'll see you.